Okay, people, did you get one of these Smithsonian Magna Gyroscopes and you are having a heck of a time getting it to work? I am going to help you out. So, this is the, the base. Now, what I found is this thing is most sensitive to weight after you figure out how to get it to spin on there. So, like with this guy, for me, what works is one of the big metal washers, one of the little metal washers, and the two plastic O-rings seems to be about the right weight for it. Now, the next part is getting this about as level as possible using these little legs. And then the third trick is how to get it to spin without flying off. So I found it's not, you don't have to spin it super fast, but you have to hold it down in the dead center and try to keep it as stable as possible to start the spin. So you get the first spin going and you got to wait for it to stabilize. You wait for it to stabilize like it is right now. And then very carefully you pick up the ends. Oh. And if you don't, it'll sometimes fly off. Sometimes you'll get a really good one though. All right, let's try this again. Let it stabilize. Okay. Now we'll bring it up. There we go. And now you got your flutter. Yeah. Every once in a while you'll get a really good where it'll stay for a minute or two, but those are pretty rare. There we go. Ah, well that one's off. Okay, it looks like it's creeping this way a little bit, so I'm going to set it up just a little higher over here and in this corner. All right. But like I said, wait for it to stabilize. It can actually spin quite a while once it starts to stabilize, so don't worry about it being too much of a timing issue. And then just very carefully bring it up. There you go. <laughs> it came off this edge this time, so we'll bring it up just a little bit on that edge. But I wanted to show you a real life thing so you're not just getting it working once and you don't see all the little troubles that happen here. Okay, that one looks like a fairly good one. There you go. And you can see that it's stable and it's there. Bounces around a little bit, wobbles a little side to side, but it's, uh, it's going. Uh, but I found the most important thing is the weight. So you don't want to make it too light or it's just going to fly off one direction or another. And you don't want to make it too heavy or it is just going to fall back down to center without levitating very well. Um, so it's really kind of a trick of getting the weights just about right for it. And then being able to spin it in that center so that it has a chance to stabilize before you lift it up. But if you do that, it works. It's a fun toy. And uh, I hope you guys... Hope this saves you guys a lot of headaches. Have a great day. Bye.